welcome everybody and uh, it's great to have people here in real life at an art event. It's been a long time coming, that's for sure. And what a beautiful evening we have to do this on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe and the Haudenosaunee people uh, as described in the Williams Treaty. Tonight, we get to meet and greet my buddy Susan. So what Critical Mass has done is during our artist residency program, which is happening all summer long and into the fall, the visiting artist has been paired up with a local artist for the month that they are there. Very fortunate that I got to be paired up with our first artist in residence for the 2021 season and we've been good buddies. No matter what she tells you later, we've been really, really good buddies. <laughs> so yeah, this is Susan Campbell, my buddy. And she's an interdisciplinary artist whose work is lens-based media and sculptural installations. But I think what's really valuable, wow, we'll get this in every art talk where our oh, engine yes, starts up. Oh yes, I go. Yeah. <laughs> For the train. Yeah. What I think is really valuable about Susan's work is that she intervenes in our way of thinking. So over the course of the month, what Susan has done with her residency is got us all to look at our space, the space that is Port Hope, with a, a different lens, the way she kind of walks around seeing the world. We were asked to look at the typography, the written messages of the town, and say, who said it? What were they saying? And what do all these things say about the constructed environment that we, over time, have made here in Port Hope? Because Susan slowed us down like this, especially, I feel I really got a lot out of it. And as a result, I walk around Port Hope much differently now. My own internal, personal map has new things on it. So thank you very much for that. And we're going to listen to what Susan has to say about her month here and uh, the kinds of things she's discovered. And then she's going to lead us in an activity later on where we get a little goopy. Susan, I give it to you. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for coming. It's great to be outside together making art, right? Um, so this residency has been such a joy for me. Um, meeting people day to day, every day, and then I get some like requests like, Susan, is a photo okay? Can I trace it? Can I draw it? So basically, I set out with this residency to reach out to you guys, uh, to reach out to the larger community, and get us to slow down and just look at the written word, the messages, and some of those messages are very, very, um, they're worlds. They're, they're like, if you can imagine the messages in some of these here, they're about the world that you want to live in, right? The, the humanity of the world that you want to live in. So some of the messages were save our trees. This was on a garden on King Street. Um, Port Hope Loves, this is on the bridge at the back of King Street. And you guys also probably noticed when you took pictures and when you traced images or rub downs, you kind of get this geographic memory and there's also an emotion that goes with that because you're slowing yourself down. You're deliberately saying to the world, hey, I'm gonna, you know, take it, a record of this. And so with that comes space. So time, space, and that is the relationship to your environment, okay? Um, so art making this project is a great opportunity to kind of slow down, pick up all of the messages, get them to travel over to here. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to create this palimpsest of faded texts because literally these texts are fading. They're fading fast. Um, some of them are more permanent um, and some of them are just about existing or they've disappeared, you know. So we've got like examples of poems uh, down on Walton Street on, I think that's, I think it's near Cavan Street, this one, it's near the, near the um, intersection. So when I say world making, I mean, 
this is the the world that we hope to live in okay so um, the idea of taking a return flight the idea of a better world because you're in it the idea of save our trees so literally a tree is speaking to us and saying save me so th these are all hu like human stories okay um, and then you've got like forever and then you've got the attitude of you know who am I in this world balls out I'm not sure what it means but I know that there's a huge attitude behind it there's kind of a screaming at you um, and then we've got more coded information here which is all about wayfinding it's all about coding encryption how do I find what where um, so yeah I've really enjoyed the time here um, what surprised me most uh, during this residency was the speed at which decisions were made yeah um, for for the first two weeks we knew we were going to do a palimpsest but we didn't actually zero in on where this palimpsest was going to be is it going to be on the concrete uh, sidewalk is it going to be on the side of a building because everything I do has got to do with contesting space so sometimes when I work with tape and I'm taping off an area to put furniture in or I'm observing a, a parking lot to see the movement of people how they're not allowed to move in certain areas I'm really aware of the cont con contest of space how uh, social practices are in contest with systems of capitalism okay and um, efficiency and stuff like that but this one is a really kind of um, a good break for me because again it's getting the um, contested spaces and gathering up all of those messages and kind of creating a map okay so again maps just to keep in mind maps are deliberate narratives okay you want to be aware of who is speaking to you what are they trying to convince you of and what is the map for in other words what is the map selling so sometimes a map is telling you about the priority of traffic over people sometimes it's telling you about the pri priority of private property over social practices so you get displacement and you get kind of frictions between society and property owners and stuff like that but this project has been a kind of a real eye-opener in that Port Hope stretches or it straddles many many ages it goes from 1800s right through the Industrial Revolution right through to uh, 1900s right through to today and so I'm kind of pleased at the the range of inscriptions that we've gathered okay and so that map is a kind of a democratic map because I'm not making the map you are making the map okay um, so we've got the um, the fieldstone fountain and we're basically going to create this in like this monument of inscription okay this monument of all of these messages that we brought together how wild is that okay <laughs> um, so I think you'll enjoy it I'm gonna do a quick demonstration but when we were talking about it earlier on you know when you think about the youth that are asking questions about non-binary about who they are about the world that they want to exist in um, it's so important to kind of listen and um, kind of look at the questions that people are asking us and look at who owns what information so who gets to dominate the narrative okay and I think with this it's a kind of it's breaking up that narrative it's getting more diverse okay um, so yeah we'll kind of create this semi tower of Babel with all of the messages that we've gathered um, I'm not sure we're gonna build it up much like as in the Tower of Babel but we'll we'll start at the bottom and we'll we'll keep going because on Friday and Saturday uh, we'll have more activity more paste up more workshops for, for that um, so I could start with the uh, I could start with the demonstration if you like okay okay 